All right, we're at day 29 for our Murph Challenge at Seven Steps to Quit. We want to talk more about that morning drink with this day because we discovered some new information about vinegar that might want to catch your attention because it's going to address a certain type of fat that we really want to get rid of fast. We're coming on the last days of the uh, challenge, and um, I've been learning how to be a little more deliberate in my planning. And one thing this challenge has done is taught me that you have to really plan your schedule and stick to it in order to get to that last goal. Um, and you learn a whole lot along the way. Uh, but today, before we even do the challenge, I want to share with you some new information that I've um, acquired as it pertains to that morning drink. You know that morning drink that we uh, utilize? There's a little something more there than uh, than I knew before that I know now that I want to share towards the end of this journey. Come, let's come, come to the kitchen with me. I'm sure you're talking about. So this has been the focus for the whole 30 days. Remember, we talked about the vision board. Putting up a vision board to keep you focused is really important. These are the texts that have helped me to keep me focused as well. I want to share them with you again just one more time. That's the name of the church. But that's the focus of what's happening right now. So let's talk about that drink that we make. Because it's time for that drink for me right now anyway. And it's this. This right here, I found out some new information as it pertains to apple cider vinegar that was amazing. Information I've gotten. Uh, I keep my replacement right here. In case somebody been messing with my apple cider vinegar. But uh, anyway, um, I found out I found this from I found out some more information about the vinegar and the effectiveness of it. From Dr. McGregor. He's the author of How Not to Die. And we've covered a little bit of his material beforehand. But also, uh, he has nutritionalfacts.org, which is an absolutely free site for, for nutritional information. But he has just recently, or I have just recently discovered some of the things he's talked about as far as vinegar is concerned. Where literally, folks, if you want to get rid of the visceral fat in your body, you want to have two tablespoons of this stuff every day and he actually has the scientific proof to back that claim up and it is amazing vinegar has been cited as a weight loss aid and reported as one as early as 1820 now what's been impressive is the studies and the research connected to ampk which is a fancy way of saying how we utilize energy and how we utilize fat in order to create energy in our bodies. So this was a big deal when it was found out. Remarkably, vinegar, dilute acetate acid, can also activate AMPK in some tissues. This likely reflects the fact that the initial step of acetate metabolism in which acetate is phosphorylated generates AMP in the process, generates energy. And what does it use? It uses fat for the energy. Then blood flow and the opening of arteries dealing with nitric oxide is also cited as a benefit of utilizing vinegar. Here's a study indicating vinegar intake enhances flow mediated vasodilization or opening up your arteries via upregulation or improving of endothelial nitric oxide synthesized activity. Translation, NO or nitric oxide opens up your blood vessels so you have better blood flow so you can utilize more energy and utilize even more fat. And this recruits fat for energy. Then there's another study. This remarkable, once again, courtesy of Dr. Greger. Then this follow-up study shows that vinegar intake reduces body weight, but vinegar intake also reduces body fat mass, particularly the fat that's around our organs, not the flabby fat that produces cellulite or flabby arms, but the dangerous fat, the visceral fat. And serum triglycerides, remember, that's what you 
that's the fat that's in our bloodstream levels, in obese Japanese subjects. This study was done on obese Japanese subjects in which actually they had a BMI of about 24 to 26, where the average American has it around 28 or 30. So they were considered obese in Japan, but in America, they weren't as obese as we are here in the States. But imagine this discovery shows that vinegar causes an increase in uptake of fat cells for exercise, losing body weight, losing body fat. I'm getting ready to do this last mile. What I decided to do this time was go ahead and give myself a couple of uh, teaspoons of apple cider vinegar before I started my workout since now we know that kicks in your fat burning process, right? So I'm gonna do a little in the morning with my uh, turmeric mix. Then I'm gonna do a little bit instead of coffee I'm going to use this since I know it specifically kicks in fat burning around for, with dental and visceral fat. It's nothing but a win-win. Take a little bit of that. I dilute it with a lot of water, by the way. A lot of water. Now to finish this last mile. Well, we're rounding the last day of the Murphy Challenge at 7 Steps to Quit. I mean, it's good to get rid of fat in general, but anything that helps us to get rid of visceral fat, which is actually the fat that's around our actual organs, you know, and our bellies and our torso, more valuable to get rid of that fat than anything else. And hey, that's part of the benefit of this challenge in the first place. Look forward to seeing you on day 30.